Hey, it's Greg Rizzer uh, from Visceral Games. We're here at the EEA uh, UK Showcase and you're watching Connected Digital World. Right, so do you want to introduce yourself? Sure, my name is Greg Rizzer. I'm a producer at Visceral Games working on Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel. So tell us a little bit about the game. Sure, sure. Well, this is a big, uh, big opportunity for us at Visceral Games. We wanted to, you know, take the Army of Two franchise, reboot the franchise. We feel that this is a great opportunity to utilize the Frostbite 2.0 engine that we're using for this game. You played the game today. You saw the level of destruction uh, that we're able to really execute, you know, with these guys. As, uh, you know, with the guns and the destruction, it's been it's really wonderful. So again, we wanted to elevate all that, the things that people liked about the first two games, but we also wanted to look at the other opportunities for us to take what you know didn't necessarily get some of the best kind of critics feedback or whatnot. So uh, we're really trying to make a better story this time around. We wanted to you know have really strong narrative that's woven in between like these big epic moments and the you know obviously like just a lot a lot of gunplay. So that's kind of what we look at it. We think it's a great opportunity for us and we're, you know that's why we're here today showing it off so I take it the um, how can I put this stupid humor <laughs> the previous game isn't in this one <laughs> I yeah, let's, I mean, yeah, they're, they're kind of like the Pratt Boy stuff, you know, like the air guitar and all these kind of things. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit with what we want to do here. We're telling a, a, a story, you know, dealing with the Mexican drug cartel. It's grittier, it's darker, and we just didn't feel that with our new characters, Alpha and Bravo, who are new to the uh, two organization, we didn't feel that that would be appropriate for those characters. So again, we have a great opportunity to introduce these new guys, and we wanted to come out with the, you know, our best foot forward. Of course, there's still going to be the come there still will be the kind of things you would expect from guys that are kind of thrown into the, you know, into combat like this. So, you know, buddy action blockbuster kind of is really what we're shooting for, but not the frat boy uh, stuff from the past. No. Um, and why the choice with different characters? Um, well, again, that kind of goes back to the whole thing. This is a reboot. You know, the Army of Two brand is is a brand that uh, people recognize. But we also realize that we want to take some. We want to convert some people. We believe we have an, an opportunity to take the new, you know, the new engine, the new story, and include in a new story. It was really important for us to say, let's start with these new characters. Salem and Rios will be in the story. Uh, they're still part of the organization. They're a big part of the story, as a matter of fact. Uh, but Alpha and Bravo to us represent a new start for you know for the franchise. And what's the feedback been so far on the new? Oh, uh, I think it's been overwhelmingly positive. I mean, at least that's what they say to my face, right? But uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, like we've we've had the demo here for two days, and you know, the kind of attitude that we have is like we're just going to show everybody what we have to offer, and we let the game speak for itself. The guys that are back, you know, in Montreal and our other studios in Shanghai and and where, everywhere that we're putting this this game together, um, take a lot of pride in this, and we believe that. You know, this is our opportunity and uh, to show everybody and show the rest of the world that we mean business this time with with this game. Uh, so the positive, it's been great for me to being representative of the game and seeing people playing the game today and the oohs and the ahs and all you know, watching people's faces when they get to just rip apart and destroy. You know, this you know the the, uh, the levels. It's been wonderful. Have you hit any challenges in doing this game? Oh, uh, that's part of the, That's part of the process. I mean. You know, challenges we have, you know, there's all kinds of challenges. We, you know, we have an incredible group of engineers, artists, animators, uh, and audio guys and everything. And working with the new engine, you're always going to be learning things as you go along. And sometimes those things can come out sort of unexpectedly. Uh, but our schedule is still our schedule. So, you know, it's really one of these things, what the guys do back in the office, the guys and girls back in the office, what they do. It, it, it's, it's amazing to me. So, yeah, it's an incredible opportunity. We know we have to ship March of 2013. So, you know, the challenge is it's just part of game development. So, but we embrace it. it was, it's, you know, it's our jobs. <laughs> And there are different modes of play in the game. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, I mean, we haven't really announced anything beyond the campaign right now. But to be fair, there will be other things to extend the life of the product. We, we're not a competitive multiplayer game. We've never really been about that. So uh, while I can't announce necessarily per se, I can say that there will be modes that will extend the, uh, the life of the product. And uh, remind us again when it's out and the platform. Sure. Uh, Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel, it is out on March 2013, and it is available on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.